Hi, in this video lecture, let's try and understand the construction of positive edge trigger D flip flop. As you can see, there is an external input D, a clock signal, and Q is the observable state to the user. Let's assume some initial state to Q. Let it be in the reset state. So Q is 0, Q bar is 1. And let clock be initially 0. And therefore this line is 0 and this line is 0. So irrespective of any input to these lines, these two lines S and R are maintained at 1 which is the input combination for no change output for a cross coupled NAND gate implementation of SR latch. So let's assume that we are trying to set the circuit. So I am setting D is equal to 1. So when D is equal to 1 this 1 comes here. So 1 and 1 is 1. Not of 1 is 0. And this 0 goes here and this 0 goes here as well and this 1 comes here so 1 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is going to be 1 this 1 comes here and because of this 0 yes is still maintained at 1 this 1 comes here and due to this 0, R is maintained at 1. Now when clock goes from 0 to 1, we expect that this input is accepted by the circuit. So when clock goes to 1, this becomes 1, this becomes 1. 1 and 1 is 1 not of 1 is 0 so s yes goes to 0 so this 0 is supplied here and it is supplied here and everything else will remain the same because 1 and 1 is 1 not of 1 is 0 so this is going to be 0 and this is going to be 0 so 0 and 0 is 0, not of 0 is going to be 1. So R is going to be still 1, but S has changed to 0. And this is the input combination to set the circuit for a cross coupled NAND implementation of SR latch. So this is going to change the value of Q to 1 and Q bar to 0. Now, after the clock has reached 1, let's try to change the input from 1 to 0. This change in input should not be accepted by the circuit because the clock has reached 1. Let's try this. So, this 1 and 0 is 0, not of 0 is going to be 1. This 1 will be supplied here and this 1 goes here as well. So 1 and 0 is 0, not of 0 is 1 and that is what is supplied here and here this 1 will not make any change because due to this yes, the input to this NAND gate is 0 so the output is 1. So even after we have changed the data from 1 to 0, the input to the cross coupled NAND implementation of SR latches 0 1 which is the set state and the Q will be maintained at 1. Now let us assume that the clock goes to 0 from 1. So in that case this will become 0 and this will become 0. This will make S yes to go S yes to go to 1 and R to remain at 1. So this 1 will be supplied here and this will be supplied here as well. 
and due to this 1 and 1 this becomes 0 so this 0 is supplied here so 0 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is going to be 1 so the circuit has now stabilized now let's try to make this clock go from 0 to 1 again so that this input will be accepted now that is we have changed the input from 1 to 0 when the clock has reached 1 at this position and this change is not accepted by the circuit till the clock goes from 0 to 1 which is the positive edge of the clock. So when the clock goes to 1 this line becomes 1 and this line becomes 1. So this is 1 and 0 is uh, 0 not of 0 is 1. So this line is 1, this line is 1 and this line is 1 this line is 1 this line is 1 this line is 1 so let's try and compute the output of each of this NAND gate 1 and 1 is 1 not of 1 is 0 that 0 comes here 0 0 and 1 is 0 not of 0 is 1 and due to the inputs being 1 in all the input lines the output of this NAND gate is going to be 0 and this 0 is supplied here so 0 and 0 is 0 not of 0 is 1 so no issue so the input combination 1 0 for the cross coupled NAND implementation of SR latch will reset the circuit therefore the Q value will change to 0 and Q bar will change to 1. Now after the clock has reached 1 suppose if we change the value of input from 0 to 1 this change in the input should not be accepted by the circuit. Let us check that. So this, this line is 0, this comes here 0 and 1 is 0, not of 0 is 1 and that goes here, that comes here and uh, 1 and 1, this line is 1, so this output is still 0 and due to this uh, 0 this output is 1 and due to these inputs the output is 0 so even after we have changed the input to 1 from 0 the circuit input to the cross coupled NAND implementation of SR latch still remains at 1 and 0 for S and R respectively and therefore the reset information will be retained in the circuit. So this is how the positive edge trigger D flip flop will work. Every time when the clock goes from 0 to 1 that is the time when the input will be accepted by the circuit and we can observe that input in the state Q. And if you consider the circuit there are only 6 NAND gates used to develop this flip-flop unlike the master-slave implementation of the D flip-flop. So this, is, this implementation is preferable economically when we implement the or when we manufacture the D flip-flop. This is the graphical symbol of the D flip-flop. Whenever you have a D flip-flop the edge triggering is indicated by this triangle whether 
it is positive edge triggered or negative edge triggered if it is positive edge triggered we have a simple solid line here for the clock if it is negative edge triggered we have this bubble and we have the d input and this is the observable state q and this is q bar in both the cases